So Brazil is the new country uh, about when we talk about new destinations because the diversity, because of all the nature that we have, all the eco, uh, ecological system, all the beaches, all the sports that we now are developing, you know, the opportunities about the world soccer game, the Olympic games, the new fuel. So it's a, it's a new country, but it's ahead of you know, a lot of uh, countries in South America. Well, I would also say that in the last few years, recent few years, Brazil, you can't avoid watching TV or reading a magazine and learn about uh, how Brazil has worked with a, a variety of international groups and companies in attacking the problems with the Amazon and the and deforestation, reforestation. Uh, you can't avoid how it has dealt with the whole fuel issue with ethanol from sugar, the most successful, effective, non-competing with food stock type of thing. So that's, that's really also, has that helped tourism? Yeah, when we talk you know, uh, about the Amazon, uh, most of the people, they don't know that the Amazon, 60% of the Amazon belongs to Brazil. And the other 40% of the Amazon belongs to the other countries. The part of the Amazon that belongs to Brazil is really protected. You know, the new government, since we became a democracy, it's not too far away, uh, it's since uh, 1985, you know, the priority was to protect our Amazon. And when we talk about the new fuel, the ethanol, uh, we don't have this problem about competing with the food because Brazil, everything that you plant grows, <laughs> you know? Uh, who in the U.S. are the traditional visitors to Brazil and who are not and you're trying to attract? If, you know, United States is our second largest market. First is Argentina because of the border. The second is United wow. States. So everybody, all the Americans, they want to go to Brazil. And in our favor is that it's a long term, it's a long, long trip. Nobody goes to Brazil just to spend three, four days or a weekend. When somebody think about going to Brazil, it's at least for a week. I see. You know, because it's a long trip. Not a, from, from Miami, from New York, and also from, from California. But we, we attract all all the, 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 the Americans because of our diversity, because of our culture, because of uh, our uh, opportunities on business. Right. So we want to attract everybody. That's why we have two offices in the United States, focus on providing all the information to the American people. We want everybody because we have market for everybody. I'm sure you lost a few visitors as every country around the world has because of the economic uh, crisis last year. And now that we're recovering a bit, what, what is the industry, the airlines, the hotels, the tour operators doing to make it easier and attract the visitor back? Well, well since last year, since the, uh, the beginning of this crisis, what Embratur did, they tried to bring all the trade together. And instead of decrease the price, give some value added to, to the price of the package. So, and they all got together like, the, the US TOA, United States Tour Operators Association, and BTOA, Brazilian Tour Operators Association, they got together and they minimized each one the price, like all the airlines, because like I said, it's a long trip. The price of the ticket is, sometimes is more expensive to go to Central America. So, and then they try to add value, giving some, um, some uh, uh, transportation, some shuttles, some kind of uh, you know um, return the the money that they spend with the with the visa because we need a visa to go to Brazil, and they add value to all this package. And we didn't we didn't feel so much the the crisis in Brazil, decreased a little bit on the first half of the year, but on the second we kept all the same level of 2008.